And dead. That's better. I'm burning dog face. And uh We're back with more Let's Play Mad Max. Because he did load it. Fine. We're heading off to... Stick it to the man. And also to build a uh, water thing for Jeet's stronghold so that they don't starve to death and so that they'll shut up about how terrible I am when I'm in town. Fine. Look how fine we are. We're not even looking where we're going, and we're fine. Is that a campfire? Ballsy. Hello! My name is Max. I've already killed one of your boys. What do you have to say about that? Oh, no, you don't get to do that. No, 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 that's very naughty. Mmm! Oh, no! Road boy. You're too slow, waster. I'm gonna break your bones. Road boys are roadkill warriors that are faster, more agile, and have mastered quick and evasive combat despite only fighting unarmed. Extremely evasive enemies, your best bet is to wait for an attack and parry counter them. The shoulder guard will <coughs> the shoulder charge will catch them off guard and stumble them. Be quick with the follow up though, since they recover quickly. So I'm going to be honest, when I first heard about this game, my instinctive reaction was to think, Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping these guys... I think... Uh, I had been hoping that they would work on a new Just Cause game, and they announced this, and I just assumed, Well, it's too bad. It's going to be shit, and then we have to wait longer for the next Just Cause game. And I thought that because it's a tie-in game. You know, it's a... Mmm. Nutritious. It'll keep my coat glossy. Which I have just realized that I went out and, uh, into the wasteland and saved the dog. So, uh, I think... That means I can forgive myself and put a shirt on, you naked fuck. That's better. Oh, right. Duh. That's why I came here. Uh... You're fire. I don't need you. There's plenty of fire around. Run. Fucking... Yeah, this looks important. In fact, I know a friend of mine who's even more dismayed, because, uh... She thought, when she first saw the trailer at, like, E3, that, uh, they were announcing a new Fallout game, until the logo came up. Uh-huh. Project Heart, Water Storage. This Project Heart can be used to build the Water Storage Project in Jeet's Stronghold. Thou doth have one out of two required parts. I should have just looked at all of the projects, shouldn't I? So they'd all be on the map. Hmm. Piss. 
Oh, God, it's all the way up there. Fine. Fine! I'm sure that won't go disastrously. But this game comes out, and much to the surprise of basically everyone, it turns out it's actually really rad. And looking into it, I suspect very strongly that uh, the reason for that is that unlike most video game tie-ins, they, uh... They didn't force it to come out day and date with the movie. You know, since this is a tie-in to Fury Road. Even if it's not called Mad Max Fury Road, the game. I can think of several games where the developers have said, uh, after the fact, yeah, that sucked because we didn't have the proper time to finish it. But, uh... Oh... God. Even I felt bad for them. And I'm the one what did it. Like, uh, before they were internationally renowned as, uh, sellouts in nickel and dimers, Bethesda were, uh, known for making solid RPGs. And one of those games was, uh, a pirate RPG called Sea Dogs. And I remembered when I got, I think it was Morrowind, there was, like, an insert in the box that's, you know, advertising, coming soon, Sea Dogs 2. And years after the fact, I realized I'd never heard about that game, so I looked it up, and it turned out that during the development of Sea Dogs 2, uh, Disney had approached them with a big sack of money and said, uh, we would like to... Piss me off. Piss off. Said, we would like you to make this game into a, uh, branded Pirates of the Caribbean RPG instead. And the requirements for this... Or that, uh... Nice. <clears throat> the requirements for this were that, uh... Oh, oh, I see! I got this. Wait here. And for this, with it, uh, they adjust the game, which had originally been somewhat realistic, to add uh, skeleton pirates. And they, uh. What the fuck? And it had to come out on the same day as uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I think it was the first one? I don't remember. But uh, as a result, it came out. Well, it came out as a buggy mess, to be frank. Nice! Oh god, right next to the car. That guy has a gun! Y'all aren't very smart, are you? You didn't even run away from that. That's not a good sound. Let me just grab this and then we'll get the fuck out of here. We're running! Didn't even fucking ding the car. So I came out and it was a buggy mess even by Bethesda's standards. Let's just keep going because we're getting shot at. And uh... Another 
sniper. Gotta keep going. And that was not the case for uh, Mad Max. Mad Max Fury Road hit theaters in uh, May of 2015. And uh, the game did not come out until September 1st. Really fucking hauling. I'm following the wrong path. Actually, you know what? I am going to stop. I see no uh, lenses. Oh, right, you have to hold that. <clears throat> Decided improvement. War party on the horizon. Turns out if you give game developers enough time to make the game properly, it comes out rad. Okay. Oh, I see. Where the hell did you come from? Ow. No more, boy. Kicked him in the nuts to death. One shiv. Sort of ramble on about that for a while. I still let my mouth run on autopilot. They are unhappy that I've murdered their friends. Well, there's the last scrap. When I spied you raising so deftly in the long workers, oh, I, knew, I knew you were special. So unlike the savages, hard as fruit at the man, tasty. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Mind if I do? Oh, even better. Where the fuck is the other thing? This is the right place, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. There was a big box in the other place. Hard to miss. Action roll. Right, that's done. Uh, hey, Blackfinger, I don't suppose you see a great big crate somewhere. Oh, it's one of Scrotus's convoys. Uh, that's not good. And we're running. Teeny hauler. Nobody but no one stops the flow of crude on these roads. We see to that. Camp outposts secure crude oil for the gas town refineries, but also scavenged goods and other loot. These camps are protected by vehicle patrols, snipers, and minefields, as are the fuel convoys, which constantly zip back and forth to gas town with fuel and oil. Teeny haulers move small amounts of crude oil from pump sites to gas town. They also take fuel back to the camps to feed the hungry vehicles. Convoy trucks are easy prey themselves. Make sure to deal with their escort first. It's 
try to be. Forget not the grand mojo what sits on the hood. In order to be the great power for us. Am I a moron? Do they look different in each place? Is that the trick? I mean, I'd be impressed, but I feel like, you know, it's a video game. I feel like it's going to be an identical crate. What if I'm secretly an idiot and haven't known all this time? It, yeah, that is just the same room. It's not like I'm being stupid and I need to drop down there. Hmm. All right, fine. I will look over here. Ooh, lock it off, Max. And that is exactly what he does. I like that. I don't think I've ever seen a game where you do that. Ah! Bitchin'. Now will it be... <laughs> Weird. Sleeping all of his buddies get beaten to death by a crazy man. Wait, I already know that there's nothing else here. If I run back over here, it will say... Yeah, full. Well, empty, actually, but, you know. Now, is it faster to drive back to Jeets from here? Yeah, fuck it. Except for the plasma rifle. Right, gotta go to the stronghold and do the thing. So many goddamn ways to reduce threat, and they're all on the map at the same time. I mean, I get it, it's the beginning of the. Oh. I guess I was overthinking that other one, too. really wanted the trick to be to... Oh, I didn't even put the gas back in the car! Double fail. Yeah, I guess the real trick was to use the harpoon, pull it down from a distance. I just really wanted the trick to be... Where did you guys come from? And now I'll just beat you. I like camps are so impressed with the way you beat that man to death that they... Fuck, where is it even standing? Ah, there it is. It would be very funny to me if you could unlock a tuxedo. It's pristine. It's a car on the map. Going the wrong way, I just realized, because there's a hot air balloon there. Here's the old witness. Nice. Oh, he's fucking off. some water. Attention, I need to kill all of you guys and steal your water, just FYI. Next. Ah, 
Ah, that should not have worked. Down you go. Isn't that better? Oh, I was starting to say a while ago. Might have not have been in this video. I played a game once where you play some kind of brainwashed soldierman. And I think in that game, the uh, enemy's bodies fading out after you kill them was explicitly like some kind of mental control thing, so you don't give them a second thought once they're dead. I bet it kept doing them after you, uh, were inevitably freed, which was, uh, as I recall, a plot, uh, plot twist so shocking that they put in the marketing materials. I want to say the game was called Haze, and the general consensus is that it was completely terrible. But I never played it myself. Huh. Oh, I guess water isn't really a thing you can... yeah. Another barbecue. Looking around for something that looks like a water collector. Timer went. I just want to finish this before I call it an episode. Get their scrap up in that tower. Oops. I hope I stop doing that soon. He's using which bumper is aim and a turn is uh, jump. Ah, there the water is. Oh, yeah, yeah. It collects the rain and it pours down there. Kids, in real life, you should definitely boil this first. Shame I'm gonna have to use most of it immediately. And let's take the rest of it, since those guys aren't going to need it. Where is that uh, tower? Yeah, there it is. Say yes to ammo. Bitchin. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Mad Max. There is plenty to do, Ugh, and we're just the guys to do it. Later.